What's up, what's up everybody? Chris Record here and welcome to day eight of the 90 day Ecom challenge. Today we're gonna talk about setting up Facebook fan pages. And while this may not seem like an exciting topic, this is something that you must understand in order to be successful with Facebook advertising at all or even to be successful with uh, organic traffic, free traffic from Facebook. So we're gonna hit this from all kinds of different angles. We're gonna spend some time right now. We're gonna dial this one in. So I just went live in the group. Let's go on over to the Facebook 90 Day Ecom Challenge group. Hopefully you guys are in here. Let me just make sure the post is live. And just say yes and yes if you can see me and hear me quite well. People are just now starting to jump on. I'll keep this open in another tab. Okay. So uh, let's get going. So 90 day Ecom challenge day eight, setting up Facebook fan pages. Um, I wanna just kinda come in here and start doing some notes and be able to kinda start to help you. So um, let's just dive into it. So uh, first things first, Facebook fan pages are free to set up. Let me make this screen bigger for you guys so you can all see a little bit better. Facebook fan pages are free to set up. So, um, that means you get some practice. Facebook fan pages are free to set up, so um, you know, take some time and set some up, even if you never end up using them. Okay, practice is great. I've set up well over 100 plus fan pages, and the experience has been awesome. Okay, they're free. Okay, so don't even worry that much. Okay, now let's get into some general protocol. Um, here are some general concepts about Facebook fan pages. And we're just gonna dive into some kind of some bullet points of some of my thoughts um, from you know years of working with this. So here's some general concepts about Facebook fan pages. Um, you should have one fan page per major niche that you are in, okay? Um, for example, if you have a general store um, that looks like this, and let's say that your general store um, has, you know, let's just say, uh, I'm going to give like four or five niches you might have. Let's say that your general store has, um, let's say, kitchen products. Let's say it has cat furniture, and let's say it has man cave, um, you know, man cave gear, okay? And let's say it also has like camping products. And then it has um, just a, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of related, of random, a whole bunch of random items, okay? In this scenario, what I, uh, in this scenario, you have two good options for building fan pages, okay? Option number one, build five unique fan pages. Fan page one, kitchen niche. Fan page two, cat niche. Fan page three, man cave niche. Fan page four, camping niche, fan page five, general store, whatever your general store is, okay, general niche. Okay, now, this is an example. Now, let me actually say you have three good options because there's also a couple other options that come to mind. Okay, so now let's go into option number two. Option two, build five unique, let's say build five unique fan pages in your specific niches. This one here, but five unique fan pages in um, broader niches, okay? Same thing, so fan page one might be, instead of the kitchen niche, you might go, you might go bigger. That it might be some type of, um, you know, cooking, or it might be some type of like um, healthy living, or home, niche, something more broad. Fan page two might be, instead of the cat niche, it might be pet niche, you know, it might be pets, 
or animals in general. Fan page three. Instead of man cave niche, it might be something like men's, uh, you know, men's gear. Maybe it's something along the lines of um, interior design, or maybe it's in, in, in a remodeling or do-it-yourself niche, something like that. Fan page four. Instead of camping, it might be like outdoor niche or survival or um, you know something something like that. And then fan page five. general page for everything else okay so now let's go to option three option three build one massive fan page for all your posts okay so fan page one would be general niche fan page for everything okay so look at look at kind of three options here now there might be some hybrid options you know I'm only gonna be able to do so much um, but let's like let's look at this, okay? So, option one. Um, option one: build five unique fan pages, okay? So notice notice one one common. Uh, let's talk about this right here in the notes. One common uh, theme of all these options is that you can always have a general fan page for when you aren't sure where to post about your products. For example, if your store is called, um, let's say if your store is called um, zanybargains.com, then your fan page could be called zanybargains online or something like that. Let's say Zany Bargains Online because that would probably be more available. Okay. For example, if your store is called Zany Bargains Online, then your fan page could be called Zany Bargains Online and you could post all or even just some of your random products on that fan page. Okay. But if you are diving into a few specific niches with categories on your store, or if your entire store is in a specific niche, then it's better, and let me put this in all caps, better to have a specific fan page that is directly targeted to that niche audience of people. They will respond better to that. Now, let me put in some notes. Note, this will not affect your Facebook pixel tracking, okay? So if you are using a Facebook pixel on your store to track conversions, then this will not affect it in any negative way. Even though you have several different fan pages, your pixel is connected to your ads account, not to those specific pages. So, so you can create as many fan pages as you want for free. If they are free and you can laser target your audience, then why not do it? And that's kind of my that's kind of my main thing. I wanted to start with. If they're free and you can laser target your audience, then why then why not do it? Um, let's see what all these things here. Yes and yes and yes. Yes yes yes. People are commenting. Um, Abdesalam Ab Abdesalam says fan page is not important to get buyers. The audience, the ads, interest, scaling page is needed only to launch, to get some engagement. People need to know how to choose an audience, how to scale. Um, so I don't have the ability to reply until after the thing, but this is not actually true. So let's talk about that. Um, question. Is a fan page important to helping you get sales? The answer? Of course it is. 
Okay, there, it, it's, it would be silly to think that it's not helpful. Okay, um, now, let me, let me phrase this a little better though, okay? Question, is a niche fan page required in order to place Facebook ads? Answer, yes it is. Is a fan page, not niche, okay. Is a fan page required? Okay, so question, does a niche specific fan page convert better than a general page? Answer, sometimes. Okay, so let's let's try to cover let's try to cover that. Okay, um, if your fan page doesn't have much content on it and doesn't have many likes on it, then a niche specific fan page will often convert far better than a general fan page. If you're, and let's put general. If your general fan page does have a ton of likes on it, then that social proof may help create more conversions. But even this is questionable. Since most of you are beginners, my advice is to create some niche specific fan pages to run your ads from and to set them up in the most basic way to focus on converting more sales and more customers from from your hard from your you know your your paying you know from your hard earned money that you are spending on advertising right you're spending money on advertising you might as well convert right think about it if you are spending money on ads you might as well convert as much as possible okay that's that's it, right? If you're spending money on if you're spending money on ads, you might as well convert as much as possible, just in very in very basic terms, right? So that's kind of what I wanted to to kind of cover here. So let's walk through some basics of setting up fan pages that can convert sales. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so number one. Uh, fan page, um, and let's maybe put this in all caps. Fan page setup basics. Okay, um, and let's go. Let's go through this right now. Fan page, set, fan page setup basics. Okay, so go on and review real quick before I dive into this. Fan pages are free to set up. So because they're free to set up, get some practice. You know, and, and I want this quote to stand out here. I've set up well over. 100 plus fan pages, okay? And I've given you basically an example of what you can do with your, your stuff. Option one, you can build a unique fan page for each niche you're trying to sell something to. Or number two, build a more broad fan page but still in the niches. Or number three, don't even worry about it. Just build one fan page. Um, let me kind of put this here. Um, this option is good if you are building a brand and you want brand recognition to your name, logo, etc. Okay, so this is good if you're building a, a brand. Okay, that's a really good kind of concept. Okay, Facebook fan page setup basics. Okay, here's some basics. Okay, create a new fan page. Choose the option for website as the category. Add a profile picture. You can tell I've done this a bunch of times, right? Because I already know it all memorized. Add a profile picture for the page. Add a cover photo for the page. Um, and then add a few basic posts to give the page value very fast. Don't spend a lot of time there, okay? Then that page is ready to post ads from, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Now, what I like to do 
I like to start by looking at other fan pages to get ideas, okay? And the other thing I like to do is I like to kind of look and see what kind of content. So let's look at, add a few basic posts. What I like to add is some picture posts. Um, memes and quotes work well. Um, I like to add a, uh, you know, some link posts. Blog articles and news works well. I like to add, um, when possible, I like to upload videos, but usually that's like too much time, so I don't even worry about it. So I like to do pictures. I like to do links. Um, I like to share um, like YouTube videos. Links directly to videos. And um, we'll just start there. Okay, so let's go through this Facebook fan page basic setup right now and let's walk through some. Okay, you guys enjoying this so far? Let me know if you guys are enjoying this. Oh, here, he's, he's clarifying his point here. My point is the most important is to concentrate your effort to create a fan page with your brand, name of your store, and get your page. Let me just copy this question here because I, I think there's, a, de I think there's a, de a debate here that I, I don't necessarily completely agree with. Um, let me go back up. Let's go down here to these questions on the bottom. Okay, um, member question. Um, a member is making a point that the most important okay a member is making a point that the most important thing is to concentrate your effort to create a fan page with your brand name of your store and get your page bigger and bigger when you run ads I like your option 3 because I do a lot of pages in the dog niche and has a great but it doesn't give a good result the option 3 work fine for me okay so again Obviously, this is a uh, member opinion, okay? Now, let's go into, um, that's a member opinion. Let's go into to my opinion. My opinion. My opinion is when you are a beginner, don't focus any effort on your brand at all. This is a money-sucking waste of time and you don't even really know if you are going to keep the store or not. Heck, you don't even know if you are still going to be going to uh, going to be doing Shopify a year from now. All that matters is converting sales, getting profit, and staying motivated to stay in the game. Don't focus on branding until you have proven that you can make sales from your store, okay? Okay, so in the beginning, focus on tasks that are better for converting sales, not better for branding. Don't get carried away. Don't spend, uh, time on fancy logos or great domain names or anything related to a brand. Focus, okay, all caps, focus all your efforts on finding good products, good audiences, and running high converting ads that are profitable. Niche Facebook fan pages can offer help to convert your customers much better, which is why I suggest them for beginners, okay? That's, that's my point. Now, that's, that's my opinion. They're both just opinions, okay? They're both opinions. This one is not wrong at all. Okay, at the end, this member is saying, hey, option, option three works fine for me. awesome for this member. They found a solution that works well for them. Okay. So they want to focus on branding. Okay. Now let me put, let me put a disclaimer here on this. Um, disclaimer. There are times when you, when you do want to focus on branding. Okay. 
as a beginner. Let's give some examples. For example, um, you plan on building and flipping the store before you even make any sales. In this case, you aren't focused on ads and a high converting sales, but rather you are focused on making a very good looking site that someone else would be interested in purchasing from you. Okay, so that's one example if you're planning on building and flipping the store before you even make any sales. <clears throat> okay, another example is if, is if, um, example, if you are really good at branding and it comes easily and naturally to you so it doesn't suck a lot of time, energy, and resources from you. In which case, if it's fast to do, then why not do it? My point is that for 99% of you, this will take time away from your income producing activities. So there are some, look, there's gonna be some examples, okay? Since there's gonna be some examples, you just gotta roll with, you just gotta roll with what's good for you. Now, um, there are gonna be some times, um, you know, let's, let's say in this case, you aren't focused on high converting, um, or, or even in this case, or like if you do wanna focus on branding and you wanna sell, or your main focus is to sell the store after you get some revenues, in which case branding will be something that a potential buyer, a potential investor will look for in a store. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, the one time where you really might wanna focus on good branding is if you plan on flipping the store to an investor, either before you get sales or after you get sales. But my point is you could always do that later, you know? Um, my advice, is that you can always improve the branding later. So why not just have less things to do as a beginner and focus on things that will convert more visitors into buyers, okay? That's really, that's why I wanna do this multiple fan page thing. So let's go back up here. Fan page, basic setups, okay? Let's put this in another font color um, that way I can make it stand out from everything else that's on this page. Okay, create a new fan page, choose the option for website as a category, add a profile picture for the page, add a cover photo, add a few basic posts, and then it's ready to start posting ads from it. Like I said, I like to start by looking at other fan pages to get ideas. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back, um, I wonder if I lost that link, I probably lost that link, let's see. Um, yeah, I probably lost the link. Let me see if I can find the link really quick in the background hall. I'm gonna give a link and I'm gonna share it in the group. Um, and this link could be helpful. Okay, let me copy this link and share it. Okay, so here's a link. I'm gonna copy this link um, in the group. I like to start looking at if I fan page got ideas. Use this link to get ideas from successful fan pages or use these links. Okay, let's look at these. There's a link, um, and let's do another one instead of Teespring. I'll explain what these are. Uh, let's do another one that's like um, myshopify.com. Okay, let's start with these two. Okay, use these links to get ideas from successful fan pages. This one here does a search on Facebook for fan pages that are promoting Teespring products, print-on-demand products, and this one here does a search for pro, uh, fan pages on Facebook that are selling Shopify products. So this is a really good um, search mechanism to be able to help you. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's go visit this, this link here. Okay, so this is the My Shopify um, link. And what it does is it just brings in, um, let me explain what you're looking at, okay? It's gonna bring in 
people who are sharing photos and videos and stuff from fan pages, ideas for fan pages. So in this case right here, this, this picture, it, it was posted by this fan page, retired and living the good life. And it said, were you born in April? Don't let this deal pass you down. $15.99 down from $22.99 and it links to their Shopify store, get it today. So this page promoted this picture with this link, okay? This person, Kathy Phelps, shared it. So the reason I like this search is this search is gonna pull up a bunch of results of people that are sharing, members that are sharing content. To me, this is better. I don't wanna just go to random pages and random stuff. I wanna go to stuff that's being shared a lot. Okay, I wanna look like what content is being viral enough that it's getting shared a lot. And you can click on it and then you can see how many shares. This one here has 299 shares, okay? I, I found that just by clicking on it. See, Kathy Phelps is just one person that has shared it. But when I click on it, I can see she's one of 299 people that have shared this. And then you can look at the comments. I love it, very true, whatever. So first things first, the very first thing that came up for me is a little bit of reverse engineering where I can, first of all, I can see what kind of post she made. Now look at this. She's got, um, the page is called Retired and Living the Good Life. The background photo is, represents the good life. So this is a good match. This photo matches retiring and living the good life. And if you look at the images here of these people, these look like they're targeting um, older women. So retired, okay? They're targeting people who are retired. People are put, put, posting um, older women. Look at all their, all their images here are like older women. Um, looks like probably, you know, 60s and above even, okay? retired and living the good life. So what they're doing is they're targeting older women who are retired, never underestimate an old woman. So they got the retired, they've got the good life, and they've got the old woman. So this is an example of, of what to do right. Now, that doesn't mean it will convert and it doesn't mean it will make sales, but just this alone, the very first image we look at, we look that they have a fan page that is very targeted to their product. This fan page is targeting towards women. Okay, look, the, the elements in the background represent the good life. The elements of the, um, of the audience, old women, represent old women, and the retired represents the old woman de demographic, and then, there's a, and then this is targeting women who are born in April. So you can target women over a certain age are born in a certain month. So this is a pretty good concept, okay? It does not mean they're gonna make a lot of money from it, but generally speaking, if you see a lot of engagement on something, um, it might be working especially if you see a lot of this, if this said 29,000 shares, then you know it's working because they wouldn't have run ads that long. So the more, the more engagement you see, the more likely it is that the thing is working. So right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna open this link in a new tab. I'm gonna go to their fan page and we're gonna look at their fan page here. Okay, and we're gonna kinda, we're gonna take a glance at it and we're gonna see maybe what we can learn from it. Okay, they don't have a cover photo, which is fine. They don't require one. This picture right here is not good. This picture is, they've done a poor job on their profile picture, okay? This profile picture looks good when it's broad like that, but look, it's gonna put it in a square. This profile picture, you have a square. That's, that's what's gonna show up next to your ad, right? So for example, um, this right here, Kathy Phelps shared this, and then, but when you actually go to the actual post, like we went to, this, is the, this profile picture right here is what people are gonna see. They're gonna see this name and this profile picture. So it's important, when we go back, create a new fan page, um, and that's basically a name, okay? And uh, so let's go in, let's go uh, name. Okay, let me, let me go in, in categories, these even better. Okay, name, category, profile picture, cover photo, content, advertising. Okay, that, that should help out a little bit more with understanding that. So for their name, they do a good job, retired and living the good life. For their category, I don't know what category they chose. For their profile picture, they're not doing a good job. This, this profile picture is not good. They could do a way better job. For their cover photo, they don't have one. And this is uh, optional. Okay, I have many pages that don't have one too, but it's just so easy to do, why not do it, you know? Uh, for their content, let's look at their content now. As we scroll down, let's see, there's that post right there, 299 shares, okay, they got content. Here is a profile picture, 
and that's and it looks like that's it. So they don't have any content on this page. Okay, so in this example, they have no content. They made they have one post. All they're doing is they created a page. They're running a post. Now that's okay. That's okay, but um, I personally, I wouldn't do that. Another thing is I personally wouldn't allow visitors to post like this because what good is it to have somebody say no thanks? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I wouldn't have that. I would, I would, what I would do if I were them is I would take one extra minute, add a better picture, add a cover photo, add a few more posts. Literally, less than 10 minutes, they can convert better with this. This, I'm telling you guys right now, I know enough about business that this, having a better picture here will not hurt conversions. It will not, now look, if they just went to Google, and this is just the first one we're looking at, we're gonna look at a few. If they just went to Google, and they typed in retired good life, okay, the name of their page, and they literally just went to images, okay, I'm sure there's something way better here. Now, of course, you don't wanna use images that have copyright stuff on them, but I'm sure something like this right here, this basic picture is way better. This little picture right here is way better than the one that they have, okay? It's got two people who look like they're retired and enjoying the good life, and it's a very basic picture. So you just grab that picture and you throw it on your, uh, you throw it on your, your profile here. Okay, now I'm not gonna get into like copyright infringing stuff like that. Obviously there's places, you can obviously go look for copyright stuff, but I've never heard of an instance where somebody said, you know, don't use that picture. Now, I wouldn't, let me give you, let me give you some obvious pictures not to use. I wouldn't use like, for example, the name of, the name of my company's Techademics. I wouldn't use a corporate logo. You know, if I've got a picture for like outdoor fitness people, I'm not gonna use, you know, a Nike logo as my cover photo. I'm not gonna use a trademark or registered, in, I'm not gonna use a copyright infringing brand on there, but I'm gonna look for some, some basic pictures. And there's plenty of royalty free images. There's just plenty of them. You can go, you can go the web is filled with royalty-free images, okay? Over 920,000 free stock art images. You may use them anything you like. These are free images. You're just using them for a free pan, fan page. So you literally can use any one of these sites. Okay, look, it's just like Google Images. You know, you can find, um, you know, something like this. You just put in categories, you know, retired and happy or something like that. And you just put in stuff and you can find some people, you know, who are retired and happy. You know, something that, you know, or maybe it's mostly focusing on women. So retired woman, you know, and there you go. You know, even something as simple as like, something as simple as that, you know? So you, you can even go like, uh, um, retired on beach, okay? So you can go and you can find maybe a good image here. So there's tons of them, right? So um, beach chairs, maybe there's some people in beach chairs like you looked at, okay? There's all kinds of ideas what you could do for the good life. You could even just type in good life. So whether you go to Google Images or not, is my point is there's so much there's so much stuff out there you can definitely go around and find something. Okay, royalty free images exist. It's not that difficult. So going back here, I think that they did okay. They could have done a little bit better. Now, um, and here uh, I'll put this in case some of you are asking about that. Um, okay, I put Pixabay there if you're looking for something. Google Images, Google Images, and let me just put very clear. Don't use trademarked logos or brands, okay? That's just one of the big ones. Don't use trademarked logos or brands. Okay, let's keep going. No reason to slow down. So we've, we've talked about that page. We've looked at them. We think they could do a better job with a little bit more content, a little bit better. Okay, let's scroll down. This, this page here doesn't even have a picture or anything like that, so we don't even know. This is just somebody sharing it. Again. We're looking for people sharing photos, okay? So look, here's a photo, um, nothing really there. This person here is posting. This means that this person is posting to this group. You're not really looking for stuff like that. You're not looking for people that are posting. You're looking for people that are sharing something viral, okay? Wanell shared. You're looking for this word shared. And you can even do a site search, okay? Let me, let me show you a little advanced technique. You, do, you click on that link that I gave you, you open up a whole bunch of stuff, you just keep loading more results, load, 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 load all these results, he has loading more results, you just keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, somebody's spamming a bunch of that page. You just keep scrolling, 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 don't even worry about what it's saying, scroll, 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 maybe take a few minutes and just scroll down, okay? 
And then, and then after you've scrolled down all the way, you can go up to the top and you can actually do a search, do, um, a site search, you know, um, command F and I could do uh, on most computers or whatever. And I could do the word shared. Okay. I just did a site search for the word shared and it shows that there are 11 um, in instances of the word shared. So this helps me. I can just down, I can click down and instantly find, okay, when El Hall comes shared, it highlights it now, shared anything Rebels photos. And what I like to do when I see if they shared something, I like to click on it and I like to see how many shares there are, 91. Okay, and then you can go look at this and then you just pop open that anything rebel. I'll come back to that. Okay, let me go down to the next shared item. The same thing we just looked at. Um, another, another share from anything rebel. And this person's so excited. Oh, F me, they're cussing. Oh, F me, I want this so bad, right? So they're targeting a group of people that want this kind of rebellious, you know, obviously controversial, rebellious lighters. They, they like this. People like this kind of stuff, okay? Um, and you can do it for any niche. Um, shared, little Bo Peep's photo. My little tuna, I just know it's a girl. This is so cute, we're gonna need all of them. So, and you click on this, and you can see um, 10,000 shares of this. So now you know this page is doing it right, okay? So we're gonna open that up in a new tab. Now look, we just found something using this search that has 10,000 shares. So if something has 10,000 shares, we can learn a little bit from this, right? So let's come back to that um, and let's keep going, okay? Um, this one's, this is just a question about Shopify. Again, Little Bo Peep, share. Um, Nancy Bridger shared Dream Catches photo. No shipping, buy now while supplies last. Um, let's click this. Three shares, I'm not interested. It's got no activity, so I'm just not interested. That's not enough for me. Um, Shared a link. I don't want somebody sharing a link. Uh, shared a link. I don't want somebody sharing a link. And shared anything Rebels photo again. Okay, so just like that, and if I, if I would have scrolled down even further, I could find more. But the good news is, in a basic search, I was able to come across two fan pages. One is this Anything Rebel page. Let's look at this one. Confederate Lives Matter. They, these guys are targeting the Confederate niche. Now, here's the crazy thing is that whether or not you even agree with the Confederate niche is irrelevant, irrelevant, okay? That's kind of like saying that like, let's say I found something that was a pro Donald Trump niche or an anti Donald Trump niche. The thing is they both work. The point is you're gonna find something people are, are controversial about, you know, um, and you just market to it. Now, obviously if you're passionate about it, it's gonna help because you're gonna understand the niche more. But this page here has, you're gonna look at it, it has 32,000 people. Let's just look at each one of these pages. Let's look at Little Bo Peep and let's look at Anything Rebel as two fan page real quick. Okay, they have a much better use of a profile picture. This will help convert a lot more. See, their audience is gonna resonate with these, with these stars and this type, these, these type of stars and stripes flag, Confederate flag. So they're gonna to advertise to an audience of people that like Confederate stuff and they're gonna convert better than if this was just a general store. If this was Bob's Superstore and you had a, and you had a, a, a product you were selling on Confederate lives, I'm sorry, on Confederate anything, Confederate flag, Confederate product, protect the Second Amendment, it wouldn't work as well. But by, by targeting people that are um, interested in the Confederate flag, have an interest in that, you're gonna convert them better because what's gonna happen is your post is gonna show up with a Confederate flag. Look, it's gonna, every single post they do is going to show up with a Confederate flag and the word anything rebel. So that's really helpful. They are getting the branding benefit of that, but at the same time, they're also getting the, um, this profile picture is going to help convert sales for them. Okay. So because it's their audience. Okay. Just like if you were targeting cat owners, a cat profile picture is part of the ad. This is part of the ad is what they see here. It's going to be better if it has a cat in it. Okay. Um, and I think that's a, I think that's an example. Profile picture worth walk, uh, walking out. Okay, so for example, if your site sells dog products and cat products, you might, and let's look at this, you might build one fan page for cats, build one fan page, actually for, uh, not cats, but for dog owners, one cat page for cat owners, okay? Use a profile picture of a cat. And this one, use a profile picture of a dog. 
Okay? That's an example right there because they're going to see that. Use a profile picture and use a name that has to do with cats. And over here, use a page name, put page name, that has to do with dogs. Okay? So, because what's going to happen is when people see your product, like this thing here, anything Rebel or whatever, when they see this post, okay, they're going to see your page name and your um, profile picture. So these are part of the ad. So since those things are part of the ad, they are important to converting ads. If I'm going to tell you how to make good ads, you've got to know how to do it from your fan page level. So if we look at this page, they're doing a good job here. They've got a good cover photo. They've got, a, and again, it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with the Confederate flag. It's really irrelevant. You've got to get out of your own way and realize that there's profit out there. You can find something you're passionate about. This could be scrapbooking, you know, and it would be the same thing. Okay, so um, they've got a 100% response rate. They reply instantly. This helps give them a good, um, good posture. It helps give them good posture. They've got a lot of likes. This helps give them social proof. So let's, let's do this. Um, let's do uh, bonus points for a good fan page, okay? Um, fast response rate adds credibility to your page. And um, lots of fans adds social proof to your page. And then let's say optional perks for a good fan page. Okay, these are optional. Now, a lot of times, you don't need this unless you're selling. So don't worry so much about that. Those are things you could do a little bit later. So they do a good job here. Let's look at content. Okay? Um, let's look what they're doing. Right here, they're posting blog articles. Okay, blog posts. Do we have that in our content? You know, link posts, blog articles. Yep. So they're posting blog posts. Okay, let's keep going. Um, this is a picture. Okay, are they, are, do we say post picture posts? Yep. So already they got blog posts, they got picture posts. Here's a picture post. Okay, this is a meme. If you're a damn proud redneck, give me a hell yeah. And that's a meme. Look at this. Um, memes work well. See, I got you covered, you guys. I know how to do this. You guys are in good hands. <clears throat> this is a product post. Did I put product post in here? I guess I said that's advertising, but let's just say product post could go here in content as well. Um, Mix these up so they aren't every single post, okay? Like they just did right there, okay? So they got a product post there, a belt with a Confederate flag on it. You guys, great, great idea here, by the way. Great idea, great niche product. Uh, they're likely just drop shipping it. Okay, another product here, going to their store. Um, another product here, Rebel Flags. And I think they're getting too many products going right now on their fan page. But then here we got, um, sure, they have a link, but they got a picture. That's good. Now they got a picture. So they're mixing it up. So you're starting to see what they're doing here, right? Another picture. Um, this is going to their, straight to their store. This one here is another picture. Uh, this one here is a meme. This is, a, um, this is kind of like a, a quote, okay? So I put um, quotes work well. That's kind of like a quote. Those work well. Here's a, here's a, a meme or quote, okay? Uh, and we keep kind of going. You can kind of get you kind of get to learn about their page a little bit. Okay, cool. Now here's another article. Okay, you kind of get the idea, right? They're posting some products, some articles, stuff like that. Okay, we've done enough searching, and they've done a pretty good job. Let's close down um, anything Rebel. Let's close this down. Okay, now let's go to Little Bo Peep. Okay, Little Bo Peep has a. Uh, I think that this is a nice graphic for two reasons. One is. The imaging on their site is this really soft kind of Easter feeling design. You'll notice the colors. So they're doing this really soft design. I think that that works well to have a soft, at least it's a square and it fits there in the square. They've done that right. And it has their address. I don't think a lot of people are going to see that, but oh well, they have it. Um, shop here, they've got it advertised. So they've got a nice, beautiful cover art with a nice little shop here. You guys can grab a stock photo and put your own little thing. Okay. Um, 450,000 likes. So they have, this, this page right here has a really good name, Little Bo Peep. I don't know their category. They got a really good profile picture. They got a really good cover photo. We're gonna look at content. Um, but they have a really, they have lots of fans. They have a lot of social proof, okay? Let's scroll down and let's look at their content. Okay, 
content. The perfect Easter outfit ships right away. Many colors to choose from. Okay, so that's a, that's a picture. Okay, that's kind of like a, it's not really a product post because they're just going straight to their um, homepage. So what these people are, what they're doing here, this is actually a picture post and they're just saying, hey, just go straight to the homepage. Okay, here's another picture post. Just go straight to the homepage. Um, let's see what we got here. Here's a picture post, but this one goes straight to the flash sale. Okay, let's go down. Flash sale, this one goes straight to the, fla this goes straight to the product. You can see flower petals. So now we have an actual straight to product post. Okay, um, this one here, hold on. This one here has a uh, straight to product post. You can see swaddle blanket. So these people are doing a lot of posting, you guys. A lot of posting. Buy two, get eight free. They're doing a lot of products. They, I think they could be doing a better job by mixing it up, but at least their pictures are really nice. But they're not getting a lot of engagement for how many fans they have. And that's because all they're doing is they're just posting too much. They're posting too much products. So they're kind of going overboard. These are, these are fine if you're going to advertise them, but you should mix up some free value posts, some stuff that people want to share. You know, So everything here is a product post, basically. And it's just, it's just a little too overwhelming when everything's a product post. Um, I would not do this, okay? I, I, would, I would mix it up. Okay, so that's looking at their stuff. They've got a little bit too much um, going on there. But you could see some of the, they get some good engagement on some. And then this is probably advertised. When you see like suddenly, when you see a post is doing like 64 likes on average and then suddenly this one does 7,000, chances are they advertise this one. Now, if they were advertising this one, I don't think it's a good idea to advertise with your store homepage. Don't do this. Do this on your organic posts, that's fine. Organic posts, feel free, drop a link into your, to your store. But I think this is overkill. Every single post is just all about selling. Um, it's just overkill. Now, that doesn't mean they're not successful, but they could be more successful, is what I'm saying. Okay, this is kind of cute, these cute babies work. Um, okay, so you kind of reverse engineered, you're looking at what they do, right? Now here's this one post here, 59,000 likes, 10,000 shares. We came down and found this one. Like if you love these darling rompers, which one is your favorite? On sale for only $12.99 and take an extra 10% off your whole order when you share. Shop here, Little Bo Peep. So let's, let's go ahead and let's see. They got a lot of engagement on this. So let's see. These little Indian print rompers. So now you can see their store. Um, they got a little um, special offer, 10%. So what they did was they made it seem like you can get 10% off when you share. But then when you click, that 10% item is going to come up anyways. So that's what they're saying there. Share on Facebook and save. Click here to get an extra. And they've got this little share on Facebook thing and they can give you an extra 10%. So they have this share on, um, they have this share on Facebook thing uh, to get an extra 10%. That's a pretty cool little thing they have. Okay, so you can see they basically have um, Little Bo Peep. They got all their categories. They got everything. Here's this product. They obviously are doing pretty well with this. That's how they were able to get, um, uh, what was it, like 10,000 shares. So they're able to get 10,000 shares. So what they probably are doing is they're probably, they might even be cross-targeting Indian related um, terms. So they might be targeting moms. Um, I, I don't know. Well, it could be anything, right? Um, but they're probably going to be targeting, so they found some kind of thing. I might be, it might target moms and then do like, Moms who are interested in like moccasin related um, terms, mom who, moms who are interested in like bow fringe stuff. I mean, there might be some words. There might even be some brands that moms are interested in. They probably nailed it. They probably, they probably found a way to be able to target um, women who are interested in buying, moms who are interested in buying this kind of stuff for their kids. So they probably figured out, you know, some interests and stuff like that and they killed it. So something like this here, you know, they're selling it for twelve ninety nine um, plus shipping. Okay, so there you go. We're reverse engineering. Okay, so that's what I like to do. I just gave you a couple examples of reverse engineering um, and we look at these, you know, and you could always just go and like these pages if you want to kind of get more from them. But that's what I do. I like to go in there. Okay, so now let me see how everybody's doing and then let's go through and let's create a fan page from scratch. So first of all, how's everybody doing here in the challenge? Um, let's go here to the discussion tab. Let's see how you guys are doing. Are you guys following along? It's a weekend. I'm surprised we got um, hundreds of people with us here, and it's the weekend. 150 live at a single time, and that's on a that's on a random time on a weekend. So, congrats for everybody that's taking time with us. Um, 
Jonathan said the audio cut out. Jonathan, can you let me know how long the audio cut out? Can everybody hear me okay? I don't want to keep going unless um, you know you guys can hear me good. Um, is it good to add a review to a page? I like to keep it simple. Um, that could optional perks. You know, um, you could you could put that allow fans to review only if you are confident with your service. Okay, that could hurt you. So I don't recommend um, allowing fans to review. But you could. An example of allowing fans to review is um, we do that on our own um, tech academics fan page for our company. Um, you know, let's go over here to pages. Okay, so on our own our own tech academics fan page right here, you see thirteen thousand likes. We allow reviews. That gives us a four point nine rating on two hundred and sixty eight reviews. So if you're confident that you can get good reviews, then it might be worth doing a review page. But this can also hurt you. If, if, you know, if you're having fulfillment issues or if you're a beginner. So I don't necessarily recommend this um, for somebody that's new. Okay. Um, Larry says, I missed something. If you have a general store, then apparently you need a fan page for each category. No, Larry, go back to the beginning of the notes um, up here. And I give a few different uh, ways to be able to do this. I'll give you one option. If you have a general store and you're, and you're selling a bunch of niche products. So, so let's see. If you have, let me write it better so you can understand it. If you have a general store and 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 you are clearly selling niche products in different categories, you might want a new fan page for each major niche that you are selling in so that you can place ads from those fan pages, okay? It doesn't matter if these fan pages have zero fans. All that really matters is the page title and the profile picture, okay? That's the main thing I wanna really get across to you guys. That's all that really matters is the page title and the profile picture. Okay, that's it. Now, let me show you what I mean by, by that. Let me show you how simple this is. Let's say that I want to, you know, sell a product, okay? Let's say that I want to, let's, let's go in right now and let's just do a hypothetical. Let's say I have a general store and I just want to sell a single, a single product. Um, but you know, I want to sell something that's like, you know, pretty cool or whatever. Um, so let's say like, I don't know, let's, let's, let's go to AliExpress real quick and do some research. Okay. I'm hanging with you guys. We're going to do this in real time right now. Okay, so let's go to AliExpress and let's say I'm looking at like suspenders, men's suspenders or something like that, okay? So if I'm looking at like men's suspenders, um, here's like an adjustable harness, men's suspenders, um, garters, men's suspenders, garters, something like this would be um, an example, okay? An example. I saw these. These were advertised to me is why I'm bringing them up, Okay. Uh, I think it was a page, I don't know, it was Blue, Blue Aura. I don't even remember what it was. Um, let's see if they come up. If not, I'll just look it up. Yeah, it was something like this, I think. Okay, I think it was this store here, Blue Aura. Okay, um, and they just advertised, uh, I don't know if this is their site or not, but yeah, so like Blue Aura was an example. I just looked at them. World's first two-dimensional bags. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got 2D bags. This wine glass is revolutionary. Okay. So here's an example. Um, here's an example of a store uh, that I just saw today. So like, look, they're using on their fan page, they're doing these, these videos. These 2D bags are an optical illusion. Look at that. They're kind of like, so you find creative, you find products that are creative, okay? So here's an example. Look, these are kind of really, really kind of cool 2D bags. They look flat but are deceptively spacious. So they, they, it's just a funny, like, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool, unique thing. And that's what people are always looking for is cool, unique things. They've got a video and they basically are selling these 2D bags. So, you know, you can just come in here and look at these, you know, 2D bag. And there you go. They got them already on, on AliExpress. So you come in here and there's an example of a niche, right? So what I'm saying is that there's really, if, if I want to sell these bags here, these women's fashion bags, what are, what are my options? If I want to sell women's fashion bags, I got, I basically have like these three, these three options. One, Build a massive fan page for all your posts. That's what they've done here. They have a fan page called Blue Aura, 
and they're doing it under their brand, okay? So they have their, they're trying to brand their company. So they have Blue Aura, and they've got their Blue Aura as their title name. Now, this right here is valuable uh, advertising real estate. They are choosing to use this very valuable real estate. All, all potential buyers are gonna see this. They're choosing to use this for their brand name, their brand logo, their brand name. So that is a branding play. If you go back to the document, um, I said this option is good if you're building a brand. And if you want brand recognition to your name and your logo, right? So you build one massive fan page if you're gonna do what they're doing. Now, I, I personally, that, to me, it doesn't, it, it's not necessary. You could, if you're gonna sell this product, it's just as easy to um, create like a women's fashion bag. I could actually create a page to sell this product right here. So watch this, like, um, let's, just, let's just do this right now. Let's just sell this product right now. Let's create a fan page. I'm gonna go over here to this right arrow over here and I'm gonna create a page, create a fan page. If you don't know how to go here, just go to, uh, just go to Google. Literally creating fan pages is so simple, you guys. Create Facebook fan page, look at that. Create Facebook fan page and there's, it'll show you how. You just create a page and it takes me to the same pl place that I just was, okay? So it's easy, I, I like to access it right here from the menu, I just go to this drop down, create a page, okay. Choose this option here, brand or product. Let me, let me make that more specific when you're um, in your notes here. Okay, uh, category, choose the option for brand or product, okay. Then choose website as the category. So create a page, brand or product, choose a category, scroll down and do website. Okay, so you're choosing brand or product, you're scrolling down, you're choosing website. Now you're gonna think of a name, but, um, and I'm gonna uncheck tips. Okay, so I'm gonna do like, um, 2D handbag, um, 2D handbag central, um, or 2D handbags, Women's 2D, and I'll just do 2D handbags. No, let's just 2D handbags. That should be good. Get started. 2D handbags. Okay, because that's the name of that product. That's the name of that niche. So watch this. 2D handbags. Now, I'm going to go to Google. Watch how crazy this is. I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to do 2D handbag, and maybe get an image of a really cool looking 2D handbag. Okay, find one that like would look good as a square. Okay, maybe one of these. You know, you, you kind of go through and you kind of look for one. You don't spend a lot of time, but you look for one that, that maybe looks really cool. Maybe even this one here um, as a profile picture. It doesn't matter that much, you guys. Um, you can always change it too. So let's do this one. Okay, this image right here. Let's save that as 2D handbag profile picture, okay? Now let's go back here and um, all these notifications flying in so fast I can't even see my, my, my screen. Add a picture, whoops. Look at how fast these notifications are coming in. I can't even, uh, I can't even build my fan page because they're coming in so fast. Um, let me go back to my fan page, 2D handbags. Okay, let me add a picture. Upload, 2D handbag profile picture. And then you can crop it. Now when you crop it, it's trying to crop a little bit of it, right? So, you, so this works, you can move your image around, try to get it inside of this little box right there. Okay, like that. But you could always do this, you could always use a slider, make it bigger, make it smaller. So you can make it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter that much, and then you just save it. Okay, and it's gonna save and then it's gonna show up right there as your profile picture. It's taking a minute here. Sorry about that, I don't know why. Sorry, I'm getting a text from, um, from my kids in the background there. Okay, so I added, a, so I created a name, 2D Handbags. I could have come up with a better name, more original, but I'm just showing you how simple this is. Create a username, you could even do like 
2D handbags and see if it's available. That's available, create. If your username's available, you're all set. Now I have facebook.com slash 2D handbags, okay? And look at how cool that is. 2D handbags, 2D handbags, let's add a cover photo. So now I'm gonna go back here and you know maybe what I'll do is I'll go to these images, I'll go to um, tools, and let's go size like large. Maybe I'll see if there's any like really cool like large pictures that, that I might be interested in. Or you know, I'll, do, I'll just go here to this 2D handbags and I'll just go find, find one that I think is good. Let's find, let's find a 2D handbag I wanna sell and maybe like use that as my cover photo. Um, let's go to this page here. So here's a company, 2017 women's fashion 2D cartoon bags. Okay, and I'm, I'm learning a lot about it. I'm seeing about this person. Light take bag store. So they have, you know, and you scroll down, you kind of see what, what kind of images are these. They got these images, these images. They got all these different types of images. Okay, so you can kind of like see if there's any, out of all these images, see if there's anything good. And you can always just drag and drop these images to your desktop. That's one of the easiest ways to get these, is just drag and drop them to your desktop. So there's all, look at all these images they have. So if you see anything, that's, that's one way you can do it just like that. You can, you can kind of see what, what they might have. Um, another way is going to Google. And again, go to, let's go like 2D handbags, like 2D handbag collection maybe, and maybe you can get like a whole collection of products. You can go search um, 2dbags.co, home of 2D bags and backpacks. Um, you can look at other people that are doing it. Amazing bags that look just like cartoons but are actually the real thing. You can kind of see what other people are, are um, featuring about them. Look at all this cool stuff. There's videos. There's all kinds of cool stuff. You could take any one of these pictures and really have some fun with it, right? So they got all these people that are doing these and you could um, you know, find something that maybe is like a good fit. Okay, so lots of options here. Now, what, if, you wanna, if you wanna just grab a large photo, you could just grab a large photo. Okay, or what I teach in some of my other things is to go to a site called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Go to Canva, I've taught this before. Canva, you just set up an account for free. And you go over here and they got all these different designs you can use, okay? Well, if you go look on all these, they got Facebook cover photos, okay? They got Facebook covers. You just find this one that says Facebook cover. Here on Canva, I found the little template that says Facebook cover. And I could actually, if I wanted to, I could actually create a cover right now. That could be, you know, possibly really cool. I just look for something that's free. These all say free, free. Any one of these that's free, I can use and I can create something with really, really simply. So I might want to just like go through here and look and see if there's something free that I think would be really cool that I could just use as a default, um, you know, what would people that like 2D handbags look like? Like what might they like? And I'm just looking through all these right now and kind of see if there's something that stands out that's free so you don't have to pay for it. And there's these, these templates, you just change the words. So you kind of scroll through and you just kind of find something. You're, all, you're looking for this little word free right here on the, on the, on the right, free, free. See, so you're looking for, for, see how it says these have dollars. These ones cost money. These ones are free. So you're basically scrolling through and just looking for something free. They got so many of them. Um, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of time. So generally, I'll just find something like right off the bat or make something really, really, really quick, Okay. But in this case, let's go back up to the top and let's just choose something. Let's just grab one since it doesn't really matter. And then I'll just change, click in there, change the text to 2D, um, uh, 2D bags and purses, okay? Something like that, 2D bags and purses, okay? And then what I could do is maybe like make it bigger. Let's see what happens if I make it like, make it bigger. And you can kind of just like put it like that, 2D bags and per, per uh, and then instead of that, maybe change that to 2D, like it's a brand or something like that. And then maybe this stuff over here, you know, whatever, just like delete it all. And you got like a nice little, you already got like a creative like looking, looking thing, you know, you got like a nice thing. And then you know what else you can do? Go over here to uploads and let's go grab an image. Let's go back to Google images. Let's go 2D bags. And if you want a transparent image, type in the word 2D bags PNG. That will help bring up a transparent image. 2D bags, the thing you're looking for, PNG. And you can kind of like look, look, at, look at something here. And when you click an image, see how this has a white background? That's not transparent. This will only go on a white background. 
Um, which is fine, but you might want to find something that's like more transparent so it can go on any background, right? So you can kind of like look through here, 2D bags, um, and do that. But let's even just use this one. Let's visit this image. Here's this woman with a 2D one. Save image. And I could always show you guys how to make it uh, transparent, but I'm not going to spend the time right now. And now I've got this image. Let's go to uploads here on Canva. I just saved that. Oh, sorry. It, it didn't. It failed to download. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that failed to download. Save image. What was it? A PNG. 2D backpack. Download error. I don't know why it's. Um, I don't know why it's not saving. Let's just take. Let me see if I can just take a screenshot. I don't really want to take the time to go through and get a bunch of them. Screenshot. 2D bag. Woman. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you can find one. Oh no way! Is my is my my storage is full on my computer? I'm getting a storage full error. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys. No, how oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna go and delete a bunch of stuff right now, I'm, I'm live. Um, but essentially you would just go here and you'd upload, I'll show you how to do it. We'll just do it with this silly picture of this little handbag. You go and you upload your own image and you know, you could basically like do that. You can basically like move all this stuff around every way you want. Um, you know, you can move these things around, these elements around and get them like looking all nice, you know. Um, watch, I'm going to redesign it right in front of your eyes right now. And these are just templates. I've never even used this template before. I have no idea how this template even works. Um, and look at how clean this is right now. Let's trash that, that one. Let's give it this color here. Oh. Okay, there we go. I've got a cover photo. 2D, 2D bags and purses, and I've got that one right there. Oh, but it's not gonna let me download probably. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so bad having a full computer. Um, the reason I have a full computer is because I'm doing all of these, I'm doing a crazy amount of, um, I'm doing a crazy amount of videos every single day, you guys. So it's, um, if you guys knew, it's all being like, it's literally all just getting dumped on my uh, computer right now. So I don't know what to do. This is not gonna let me um, go and I don't wanna spend much more time on this. Let me see if I can just quickly dump something. Let me see if I can dump a couple of big files. Move that one to trash and move that one to trash. Okay, let's see if, let's see if moving two files to trash really quick will let me do this in real time. Sorry, I, I, just, I just hate not being able to do something properly. And it's like, I just spent this time doing this. I wanna show you how to make it work. Let's see if deleting two videos can help me. Yes, it did. It let it go through. We are saved by the grace of that. Okay, so going back to my page, I got that little, that little picture there. Now let's add a cover photo. Upload the photo that we just did. And then adjust it to make it look good. So there we go. Let's save. Okay, now... I'm obviously taking more time to do this because I'm showing you how. But all I'm saying is that we just created a professional brand for this item. 2D handbags. It's got a handbag here. Now, of course, I, I don't know if that was trademarked. I'm assuming this is a generic term. But we've got this. We've got 2D handbags. Now, when we post, it's got this nice little 2D handbag backpack. So now when we make posts, everything's going to look clean. And it looks like we're a professional brand. We've got the professional imaging, you guys. This is my point. My point is that this was free for me to set up, okay? You, you guys, is anybody getting the wow factor of this that this is free to set up and we can do it um, very, very easily? You can, literally, uh, you can literally set this up for any product you're doing or any niche you're doing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this fan page all about 2D bags and pur pur uh, purses. So let's go through and let's look at this. Name. Did I create a name for the fan page? Yes, 2D, uh, 2D bags. Category, I chose brand or product, then I chose website. Profile picture, I grabbed one. Um, cover photo, I made one. And let's even put, uh, let's put canva.com since that's what I made. Okay, content, add a few basic posts to give value. Okay, so now here's, here's our fan page. Let's find some posts, okay? Here's a, here's a post from the Daily Mail that talks about these um, that talks about these handbags. When you come across a blog post, remember how I got here? 
Okay, let's go back to Google. I just did, I, did, I started doing searches for 2D handbags and right off the bat, as, as you're scrolling down, look at this, amazing bags that look just like cartoons. Click on it, here's an article. I will copy the URL up here, copy. I will go to my fan page, watch what I do here, and paste. Now, I don't wanna actually paste that link, so watch what happens. It auto-populated an image and this and this, okay? So watch this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase that. I posted the link, it auto-populated a picture, and then I'm gonna erase it. Now I'm gonna sit here and go, check this out, 2D bags featured in the Daily Mail. Oh my God, this is awesome. Shop our 2D bags collection here. Okay, for the sake of doing this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link, um, I'm just gonna link to that shop that we found that's selling 2D bags. Um, I'm just gonna link to somebody else just for the sake of uh, this because I don't really wanna set up a whole entire shop right now. But let's go, uh, let's just go find a shop that we can do this to. I'm gonna give somebody traffic. Site, myshopify.com, 2D bags. And let's see, let's find a, a, Shopify, so, uh, a Shopify site that's selling 2D bags. Boom, Flava Gear, I found one. These guys showed up first and they're selling 2D bags just like this. I can model after them, I can learn how they're doing it, stuff like that. Let's go to um, their products right here. You can look at bags and you can see how many bags they have of 2D bags. These backpacks look like uh, cartoons. Look at that, cartoon style 2D bags. So anyways, let's go right into this. Copy that link right there. Let's go right, copy, their, copy this link direct to a product page. Let's go over to a URL shortener like bit.ly. Okay, create a bit link, paste it in here, enter. There's, it created a short little link for me, okay? I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna shorten it, call it 2D Bags Collection. Okay, now let me replace, since some of you I know maybe aren't familiar with Bitly, let me do it again. I went to a site, let me, let me just do the instructions on what I did. So content, let's do, um, watch this. If you are linking to your store, either link direct or use a shortener. Um, go to bit.ly, paste your long direct product URL, create a short URL, customize the short URL, what's called the slug. Now use that customized short link in your post. Okay, there's a step-by-step -step instructions. What I did was I went to Bitly, I pressed create a bit link, I pasted in the long link, it gave me a short link, but then I clicked on the actual weird, it was like J56LQW, whatever, I clicked on that, and I just wrote 2D-bags-collection. This looks way better. Let's copy that. Okay, I copied that. So now I can come back here and I can post a link, a nice short link. You know, like look at, look at how simple that is, okay? Shop our 2D bags here. Okay, check this out. 2D bags featured in the Daily Mail. Oh my God, this is awesome. The reason I'm writing it like this is that for all they know, you know, we are the inventor of, um, 2D bags. They don't know that. Um, we're not faking like we are, but for all they know, we are. So check this out, almost like we were featured. It's almost like, oh my God, our bags are being featured everywhere, okay? Um, but we aren't. We're not, we're not faking like we're this person. We're not doing anything shady. We're just saying, check this out. 2D bags are featured in the da Daily Mail. Oh my God, this is awesome because our store sells 2D bags. We think it's awesome they're featured. So a simple post like this right here, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna publish this. So this simple little post right here is gonna add value because what we're going to do is we're going to look um, really quickly, we are going to look, we, we've got this picture, we've got 2D, 2D bags and purses, we've got this. And you guys, I only just found this, this product today. I'm finding all this live. It's not like I knew about this product before. I've never seen this product before. And there's a picture of 
of that, okay? So now I've got, on this list, I created content, I created a link post, I created a, a, a news article, okay? So now let's go back to Google, okay? Let's go back to Google, and let's type in 2D bags, and let's see if there's any other, um, let's see if there's any other cool stuff right off the bat that we can post. You know, we don't want to post other, we don't want to post Amazon, we don't want to post other product sites, but we can post pictures. Okay, so let's just go grab, let's, let, let's look at some pictures. Okay, let's grab this picture here. Save image as, I don't know if it'll let me save it. Let's say 2D bags backpack. Okay, it worked. So another idea would be a picture post, share a photo or video. Let's click on this, let's upload a photo and let's grab that um, backpack and say something like this. Would you wear this 2D backpack? Comment below and let us know, and we will grab some to feature in our store. And then you got a, you've got a non-link post that's just a picture. So look at how fast this, this was. Would you wear this 2D backpack? Comment below and let us know, okay? So you just have these posts. Now, another thing you can do is, let me, let's go a little bit further. So now, let's go and let's, um, maybe grab like a YouTube video. That was another one of the columns he did, YouTube. Let's go to YouTube and let's find a 2D backpack or a 2D bag. Doesn't matter if it's a backpack or not. Okay, and here's a 2D bag review. And you can see they're linking to their site right there. So I'm, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to like look for something that's not like directly linking in the URL, but you know, and especially if like, especially if it's like a really cool. So I might like just look at these. Animate your style. Let's see what this, this one looks like. This one's pretty cool, okay? So let's grab this, your, let's grab this one. And let's post this one here. So again, with the links, you just post them and then they automatically bring something up. Now notice, this one didn't bring up much. It didn't bring up a video. Where's the video? If it doesn't bring up a video, the way to troubleshoot that is to refresh. Reload. Refresh your screen. It didn't bring up the video. I don't know where the video is, so where is it? I'm going to refresh, and I'm going to post again. And boom, it brought up the video. So that's a little hack. Um, that's a little hack, and all you have to do is basically now post this. Now remember, anytime you post a link, it auto-populates, then you want to erase the link. Now you want to put in your own, your own link again, okay, right? So animate your style with these backpacks. Um, say, uh, these are trending big time in the spring of 2017. Get yours, get your own 2D bag, purse, or backpack at, and then, and then go grab our, grab our little short URL, our 2D bags collection, okay? Boom. Okay, so, and then you can publish that. Now, all you're essentially doing is mixing up the variety of posts on your page. 2D handbags, these are trending big time in the spring of 2017. And you're, gonna, you're the one that's deciding that, right? So you're telling them, hey, these are trending right now. Get your own 2D bag purse, you're gonna create the trend. Get your own 2D bag purse or backpack here. There's a little YouTube video that they can watch right there. It'll play right there inside of your page and pretty cool. So you got a YouTube video, you've got a picture, you've got a blog post. Um, you know, we can maybe do one, let's do a 2D bags collection. Let's maybe look for like one more thing that we might be able to post and then I'm gonna show you one more thing about this. Um, you know, we're not looking for, we're not looking for uh, stores. Um, we're more looking for, um, you know, like news articles, blogs, stuff like that. Um, you know, just anything. And you could actually do like 2D bags news. You could even like look for like a news site. Here's Business Insider, okay? Here's Business Insider and they've got it right here. And they got a whole article on that. And say, so same, the ingredients same kind of thing. Hold on, this is playing. And materials. 
Okay, same kind of thing as we did before. You, when you want to post a link, you basically post it and give it a second to auto-populate it, auto-populate it. These 2D bags are an optical illusion you can wear. Um, check it out. 2D bags were featured in Business Insider Magazine. This is amazing. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little, a little secret that you can do. Get yours here. Oh, whoops, and then I pasted the wrong one. Hold on. Copy. And I'm going to show you something amazing you can do here. Okay, get yours here. Now, this link here, this, this Business Insider magazine, watch what you can do. I'm going to show you something <clears throat> a little bit different. So let's go 2D Bags News. Let's go back to that article. Okay, we don't even need to go to the article. We could show, I can show you right here. See how this was posted January 25th, 2017? So watch this, January 25th, 2017. When you make a post, you can click this down arrow right here and you can backdate it. Backdate. The year, 2017, the month, April, or you can only backdate it to the time that your page, I'm so used to having other pages. But you can backdate it, so if your page is, um, sorry, I, I forgot all my other pages are, I haven't done this yet with a brand new page, but if your page is, you know, days, days, days old, you can actually backdate posts, okay? Just like that, you can backdate it, okay? And then when you backdate it, when you post, now it's gonna still post it today because, you know, today's the day that we launched it. But there's ability to be able to backdate. Now, boom, it, it, it brings up the post and it'll backdate it. Now, another thing you could do when you're making a post, is that you can schedule it. So let's say you say like, hey, I just basically, uh, you know, um, let's, let's post this in the future, okay? If I wanna post something in the future, I click this and I schedule it. And I can choose when I want the post to go. So I might, I might, take, a, I might take a Sunday afternoon and schedule one post per day for the whole month. So every single day there's an organic post being dripped to my audience, even if it's only a thousand fans. Because when you run ads, your page is gonna grow. So I might, I might take a Sunday and boom, 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 boom. Or I might hire an outsourcer to do this for me. The same thing I'm doing right now, posting pictures, posting links, posting news. You would just schedule, I want this one to go on this date. And then you choose at noon or whatever. Okay, so you can basically post posts in the future and everything. So anyways, now, in recap, We've got a profile photo, we've got a cover photo, we've got a few posts on the page, and we're actually sharing some about our products, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna get a direct product post. I wanna post directly to some kind of a product. So in order to do that, obviously, I need to just deal with somebody's site. Let's deal this one, okay? Um, actually, I think all these are direct to product. <laughs> now that I think about it, every post I just did, these little short links are direct to product. Like when I click that, it's gonna forward me direct to that product. So that's actually pretty cool. So just like that, you guys, that's good enough. 2D handbags, we now have a, a fan page brand. This, you guys, is an amazing strategy to convert more. It really is. Because watch what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm gonna go over here to Facebook ads and I'm gonna go basically place an ad right now. I'm gonna go place an ad, let's just do like a basic engagement ad to one of those posts. And let's call this uh, 2D backpack post, okay? Let's just say I wanted to, uh, to, to do that, continue. And then what I'm gonna do here is, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in Facebook ads for you right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically say, okay, I'm gonna run an ad to this and I'm gonna target people that are interested in Backpacks, okay, even though that's probably not a good interest <laughs> to, to do. But like fashion bags, um, handbags, and then let's get rid of backpack. Okay, that's probably better. Fashion bags, handbags, that's 40,000 people. Designer handbags, um, luxury handbags, luxury bags, 68,000. I want to get that up to 200,000. Um, shoulder bags. Luxury handbag, fashion handbags, tote, let's see, bags, 110,000. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so designer handbags, fashion bags, handbags, luxury bags. Okay, all of this, 
And then what I'll do is edit placements and I wanna go, where do I want this to show? Um, actually, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna teach you guys a little secret. I'm gonna teach you guys a little secret. It depends on what, what post I'm doing. Okay, ready? This post here is a link, okay? Um, this can pretty much go anywhere. This post here is a YouTube video. This is not good to advertise at all. Don't post a YouTube video and advertise it. This post here is a square picture. This would be good on Instagram, okay? Um, there's probably a better picture than that. This is a link. This can pretty much be posted anywhere. So out of all of these, you know, I don't know which one's good, but I don't want to link to this because it's Business Insider. Really, out of all these, the only one I would advertise is pretty much this one, this picture, because that way it's not going to take anybody anywhere. But since it's a square picture, the little technique is since it's a square picture, I know I can advertise it on Instagram. So let's go ahead and leave that on Instagram. And then on Facebook, let's take it off. Let's just show it in the Facebook news feeds and on Instagram, on both those places, okay? The amount, let's just do $5 to keep it simple. And I'm not even gonna mess with ads right now, you guys. I'm just gonna make this real simple. I wanna show you how simple this is. Connect to a Facebook page. So you're gonna go in here, and 2D Handbags is right there. Now look, it's gonna show me what, what my post looks like. I don't wanna advertise this YouTube video, so I'm gonna go down here to select a post. I wanna advertise this one. The one that's an actual picture, see that? From 2D Handbags, would you wear this 2D ba hand ba backpack? Comment below. I wanna get some engagement to see if anybody's interested in this back, this handbag, okay? So I don't even have a link in here. I can, put, I can add a link later. And then what it's gonna do is see how there's this, these arrows to go right and left? I'm gonna go right and I'm gonna see this is what it's gonna look like in the desktop news feed. This is what it's gonna look like for mobile viewers. This is gonna, what it's gonna look like on somebody's featured phone. And then this is what it's gonna look like on Instagram. And it's obviously not letting me um, use it on Instagram because I don't have, um, it's for whatever reason, it's not letting me use it on Instagram right now. I'm not exactly sure why. I think I have to connect that. Um, I'm not sure why. That's odd. Normally, I always uh, go straight to Instagram. So whatever, some issue. I don't really feel like dealing with it right now. So if I'm going to go back here to placements, and I'm going to uncheck Instagram. Uncheck. Now we're going to go back to pages and posts. And there it is. No issues whatsoever. Now it's showing up in three places. Desktop, mobile, and featured. Desktop, mobile, featured which is just other people's phones. You can track conversions with your conversion pixel, but that's it, there's your, there's your ad. Would you wear this 2D backpack? And place an order. And it's done. So I've just placed an order for $5, okay? I'm gonna continue. And now this ad's gonna go live, you know, in the next half an hour or something like that. It, over the next 24 hours, it'll get some traffic. So let's go over here and let's see what this post is gonna look like. Do you see now the importance of having a little profile picture of a, and, and having the name? 2D handbags. It's almost like, by, by making it the general niche name, it's almost like we are the official niche of this. It's almost like we're the creators of this. Look, here's why. People have never seen these before. They have no idea what they are. It's very, very creative. You know? And what I would do is I would, I would go download. I, I would basically record this square video here, this in, uh, I would get this video and I would upload this to my fan page and advertise this video with a link. I for sure would do that. That's what I would do with this right now to kill it. If you guys have a general store and you want to try it, I mean, you'll all compete with each other, but you know, get a couple of these 2D bags, grab this video, okay, as a square, not, not, as, a, not as a rectangle. I'm sure you can find this on Instagram or you can just basically do a screen recording of just a square. Okay, grab this video and um, upload it directly. Don't upload the YouTube video. Make a recording of the square one and then download that to your, um, download that to your computer and then upload it as a Facebook post. Go here where it says share a photo or video. Upload photo or video. Upload a square version of that video. That video was good. Upload a square version and just tell people, you know, like, 2D bags are predicted to be one of the biggest trends in 2017. Get yours here before they become popular with your friends or something like that. And then you draw a link. And I'm telling you, you're capitalizing, you're creating a trend, you're capitalizing a trend, you're capitalizing on emotional purchases. People have never seen these. And you just link them over to your store. It looks something like this. You link them like this, decide what you wanna charge for them. Charge just a little bit at first. 
So here's, here's an example. Okay, here's a, here's a great example. See this square one right here? Um, you can just grab this one here. Show video URL. You can just grab this one here. Let's see. Watch. Let me see if I can do it. See how, see how good. Download Facebook videos. All I did was do a Google search. Download Facebook videos. Click on something. Enter that Facebook video URL and download. Look at how simple this was, you guys. You guys can do this. You know, these are ads right here, by the way. These are ads. So you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You, you don't want to go and, and do the ads. So sometimes it takes a second. These links above are the actual ones that you want, not the, uh, you know, not the, the actual start download. So let's see, 2D bags video. Those are ads. I got that 2D bags video and let's go here. I literally did that in real time just to show you guys how Google can basically find all your answers for you. 2D bags video, I just uploaded it. And I can say something about it. Say something about this video. Um, these bags are predicted to be the biggest trend in 2017. Um, we have a limited supply in stock currently at 50% off until our spring until our spring um, retail event happens get yours get your 2D bags here and then put copy Okay, of course, copywriting could be anything. 2D bags, video title, 2D bags, the biggest fashion trend in 2017. Biggest fashion trend in 2017. Uh, you could put that video tag, stuff like that. Now, you could do a custom thumbnail if you want. Um, you can see if there's anything good here. Let's see if there's a thumbnail out of all these. Kind of go through and see what thumbnails they're giving. There's a good one. These are 100% real and look amazing. That's a good one. Any one of those would work. So this guy with the pink one. I'm probably going to target women. So I'd probably do something like this. And then just publish it. Okay? And then watch, watch what's going to happen here. I just grabbed that video. And I went in to go publish it. It's preparing it 86%. You guys, I'm doing this in real time just to show you like... Look, I want you all to be so successful. You have no idea. That's why I'm spending this time and energy. I don't know if you guys get this, but I really, really, really want you to be successful. So I'm showing you, you know, what's up. Now look at this. Look at this video. I just got this video rocking. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller so you can see it. Look at this. I just uploaded this video. Bam. Look at this ad. 2D handbags. These bags are predicted to be the biggest fashion trend in 2017. We have limited supply and stock. Currently 50% off until our spring retail event. Get your 2D bags here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna run some page post engagement ads to this because I want the video to get a lot of views. Okay, so let's go to my Facebook ads account and let's go create an ad. Okay, engagement. Um, and we'll do 2D bags video and let's target fashion brands. Pa page engagement. I wanted, at first I just wanna get a bunch of people to engage on it. So I get a bunch of social proof. So since I want people to engage on it, um, but I'm gonna target the United States because I also want people to buy it. I'm just gonna go men and women at first because I just want the biggest audience possible. So let's just do like fashion bag, you know? And now this only has 180 people, so I'm not gonna choose that one. I'm looking fashion bags, 108,000 people, there we go. And now let's get this audience into the millions for engagement. Let's get this audience between two million to five million right now, just real quick. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look for some big interest. I'm gonna hover the mouse over. Anything in the millions that is fashion bag related, I'm gonna do, okay? Right off the bat. I'm gonna grab a few of these. Designer handbags, 44,000 bags. I'm gonna grab these, but I'm really looking for, um, I'm gonna go through these, but I really wanna add a bunch. But what I'm really looking for is not these little small ones. I'm looking for, let's see how big I can get it. Three million. Okay, I'm already at three million. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Let's see if there's, Messenger bag is 17 million. Let's see how big messenger bag pops it up. 4.4 million. Okay, that's good. I've got 4.4 million on a bunch of bags related terms. Okay? 
go to here to edit placements and let's just do it on just uh, Facebook uh, news feed Facebook feeds let's go down here and let's do a five dollar a day ad just running engagement ad set I'm gonna do I'm gonna say like I'm basically um, bags related keywords I'm just gonna do that for now just so I know I remind myself what I'm advertising continue I'm gonna go find my page there it is and I'm gonna go try to find my post um, there it is no that's not it did it not show up yet darn it's not in here yet um, I might have to start the ad over since I did this probably while it was still loading um, dun, dun, dun. let's see what happens if I refresh well that always sucks when the post doesn't show up yet let's see here it is the post is there I just need it to show up in the ads account if it doesn't show up, you can always uh, continue where you left off. Let's see if it shows up now. There it is. Okay. So I had to refresh in order for that to show up. Probably because I just loaded it. So here we go. There's my, there's my bag. Now, the big thing is this might be too much description. There's a nice video here. It's going to go. This might be too much description. So since this might be too much description... I want to look at it in the mobile newsfeed. Boom. Now, if this was cut off, and if this said, um, if this said, uh, you know, if this was cut off right now, and if this said, you know, continue reading or read more, you don't want the link to be hidden. Okay, get your 2D bags here. But you see how the link is even wrapping? I don't, I don't know that I like that. So what I might do is I might go back to the actual post here. And edit the post before I place a bunch of ads to it. I might edit it and try to see if I can get it looking a little bit better. Okay? So I've got my post here. And I've got my mobile viewer right here. You know, I don't like how this is wrapping. So let's try a couple ways. Let's see what happens if I, if I break this down on its own line. Make that. Get your 2D bags today. Um, and then let's see what happens if I press save. And I put that on its own separate line right there. Let's go over here to mobile ads. And here's how you can trigger it to change it. Choose a different post. And then go back and choose that, that new post. Okay, there it is. So it just updated it. It's got, now it all fits and that's on its own line. Okay? And then let's see what that looks like on, that's what it looks like on featured, that's what it looks like there, and that's what it looks like there. Okay? Um, you know what I might even do? I might even do something like this. This might even be a really cool idea too. Let's go back and edit. I might do something like this. Let's see if this works. Men's 2D bags. I wonder if this would work. This is a creative idea. Women's 2D bags. We'll see, let's see what it looks like. You know, what you're doing is you're going to be spending real hard-earned money. Let's see if we can do something here. Save it. Go back to your ad. Choose another post. And then go back and choose that post you were just on. And it will edit that. And look at that. These bags are predicted to be the biggest fashion trend in 2017. We have a limited supply in stock. Currently 50% off until our spring retail, uh, before off. 50% off before our spring retail event. I think I'm going to change it to say before our spring retail event. But let's go first. Let's see what it looks like in mobile. Mobile. Okay. Not bad. It's wrapping a little bit. But that's it, it's as, but it kind of still stands out. The links stand out though. So it kind of works. Um, you might even want to put emojis in there. Let me, give you, let, me give you guys a, let me give you guys a hint on how to put in emojis. Do a Google search for the word keyboard emojis okay just do a google search for the word keyboard emojis and go to this thing called the emoji keyboard on this emoji keyboard you can basically find emojis that you might be able to put in your ad and um you know maybe there's something in here that is like you know uh, uh, something that would like if you're targeting women maybe you do something that's like targeting women but you look at all these here's your top emojis you know, here's your objects that you can put. So you might find something in here, you know, like, like there's a, there's a backpack 
Okay, I don't know if that's the best thing, but that's just an example, right? There's a backpack and it's kind of like, you know, we are kind of selling bags and backpacks. So you can kind of look through here and here's, you know, here's a bag, handbag. Um, there's another purse. There's a pouch, uh, a briefcase. You can kind of look through here and you can kind of see if there's something that maybe stands out. And what you do is you basically click on it and it's copied and it puts it up here. See, and it shows you what that looks like. So you can basically just copy it and then you go over to your Facebook post and you try to see if, what, if it works or not. Okay, so let's edit this post. Um, women, uh, men's two, women's 2D bags, whatever. Men's 2D bags. See, now you got a little briefcase. But what we could do is we can grab one. One of those looked like it was like more for women. Let's grab that one, the, like the, that kind of purse. See that like little pink purse? And in this case, you know, I might do something like this, men's and women's, right off the bat. And let's try to save that. Let's see if that little thing makes it pop a little bit more. And actually, let me edit it even a little bit more and let's change this. Um, instead of 50% off until our string break, before our spring retail event. Okay. Okay, so now let's just go here and let's look. Okay, so again, change it by going to a different post and then change it by coming back. We wanna make sure it doesn't wrap, okay? Now look at that, I've added a couple emojis. Men, I found a men's bag and a women's bag. Now look, I, I need you guys to know I've never even hit this topic before. I've never done this. You, you wanna to get to the point though where you get it and you understand, look, I got the little picture here. This is advertising space. I got the picture of the backpack, I got the name, I got a description. I've got the little emojis, I've got the short link. These links could be different. Um, these links could be different if I actually had a men's one and a women's one, okay? But right now I can just go into the collection. You can go into your whole collection or go right to your men's or to your women's. As long as you're going into the, you don't have to go to a direct product page if you go into the, a collection of them. That will be helpful. People can see them at a glance and see which one they want. And it looks, and it looks clean. Now this has text on it, but it's probably not too much text. So it's probably gonna be fine, okay? Um, and there we go, mobile news feed. Uh, and then it looks good. Looks good there. Looks great there. So this thing looks like it's, it's ready to go, okay? So what I would do is then I would come down here, track your conversions with your conversion pixel, place your order. $5 a day ad going towards that. And boom, it's done, okay? So that's what I would do. Now, in another, um, we're gonna be setting up this thing called um, a traffic camp. And we're gonna basically do separate trainings just for people that wanna become masters of traffic because things like Power Editor are too hard, but I'll give you guys a teaser at the stuff that we're gonna be teaching in the traffic camps. So we're gonna have a separate trainings um, outside of the 90 day challenge where I can come in here and I could take this, you know, these 2D bag videos like this and I can duplicate them and do a duplication right there and literally go and duplicate these and I can show you how to change them all, okay? And really what I'm doing right here by duplicating these, let me even duplicate like, let's just go here and duplicate like this 10. What I'm doing right now is without even, without explaining it, I just duplicated a bunch of that same ad. So these are all $5 a day. So now instead of one ad at $5 a day, I'm spending five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 dollars a day on just engagement to boost that video. And then if I wanted to go live, I'm gonna click this review changes. So boom, just like this, all I do is press apply, it loads them all up. And as soon as that's done, I'm spending $60 a day to boost that video. Now what I'll do for the sake of uh, this training is I'll just like let it go for a day just to, who cares, a little $60 donation just to, for training you guys or whatever. And we'll see if we get any views on it. I probably would have chosen some better audiences and stuff like that. Maybe I would have even gone worldwide instead of the United States for the first couple days to get cheaper views. But um, it'll still get thousands of views just like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend 60 bucks and I am going to get this post a bunch of views, likes, shares, comments, and views, and, um, and then it'll, I'll, I'll be getting clicks to some other person's site. I don't even know who that is that I'm, I'm doing that for, but I didn't wanna take the time 
to go in right now and, and worry about doing it myself. But then after I run this for a couple days, what I'll do is I'll go back in and I'll run what's called website conversion ads for this. So if you guys want help with traffic, we're going to do a separate traffic boot camp um, and we're going to bring in some traffic people because I want this one to be all about Shopify. I want this one to be mostly all about Shopify, getting everything set up. So hopefully today's training, you guys now understand the importance of what I'm talking about. I literally took a fan page and created it on a specific product. You could do this for a specific niche. You could do this for a more broad niche or you could do it for your whole store. You know, let me even put that in the document. That, that's even like another, I said there's basically three big, big things you could do. Let's see. Let's make that four good options. Okay, option one, option two, option three. Now let's do option four. Option four, um, what was my thing? Option four, okay, got it. Create a fan page for a specific collection you might have, or a specific product collection. Example, we'll just link to this page so you guys have that link. Okay, it's another example of what you could do, just like that. Okay, you guys see how to do it? It's, very, it's not that difficult. Let me quickly jump in and make sure you guys are all still hanging with me. What would you guys think for, for free value uh, in the 90 Day Econ Challenge on a Saturday afternoon? Did anybody find a lot of value in this? For, was it worth spending the time on a Saturday afternoon to jump in? Did you guys learn some new stuff? I always go through and read all the comments, so I would love to hear from you guys. Um, still have 148 people live after like two hours. You guys are just... You guys are gangsters. <laughs> Stay on a Saturday afternoon. Um, so excited. Traffic camp. Yeah, we're going to separate traffic. So every single day we can just dive into Instagram traffic, Pinterest traffic, Facebook traffic, blog traffic. We're going to go crazy on traffic camp because we have some people. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Stop spamming in here. I don't know if there's a bunch of people spamming, um, but I don't think any comments here. Um, sorry if the uh, you guys if the audio was bad it's because I'm using a different mic this time so if this, if this audio was a problem sorry about that maybe I won't use the mic I thought this mic would be better today do you guys prefer since I got you guys live can you guys tell me do you prefer the audio on today's do you prefer the quality of the audio on today's live cast or the previous live casts today I'm using a, a blue microphone every previous um one, I've been using the internal microphone for my computer. So jump in and let me know if you guys felt like the sound was, if you liked the sound today or not. And uh, I'll be glad to read the comments. All right, you guys, listen, this is just me taking time to try to tell you guys how to make money online, okay? I'm, uh, I'm literally pouring out so much here. There's a lot more where this came from. We go in way more depth with my Ecom Incubator folks. That is a high-level mastermind in tech academics. We go way more in depth at our tech weeks. That is our school for entrepreneurs in Arizona. Students come out and they, they take classes with us. And all those classes, incubator classes and tech week classes, those are gonna start getting more and more structured and more and more advanced. So we started out with beginner training because that's what everybody needed. But now that we have this 90 day challenge, you're gonna watch tech week and, and Ecom incubator and our mastermind events and our traffic camp. You're gonna watch all these things. Um, just get crazy value. If you guys think this is good for free, if you ever purchase any products with Techademics, we're gonna do even better. So we're here, Techademics is here to serve you guys with as much value as possible. So, hey, it's a Saturday, I gotta get back to work because uh, it's a work day for me. Um, we've got a huge announcement about um, a big event that we are um, holding April 17th uh, in just literally like a week. Or whatever that is, at our headquarters. We're doing a grand opening event. It's a Tech Week bonus week. It's a grand opening event at our headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, it's going to be amazing. We've got like 15 speakers that are like big six and seven figure income earners. I cannot believe that we pulled this off. You guys are going to be so excited for those of you that are able to come. So 
All right. With that being said, I'm, uh, I'm out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Watch the replay. And uh, make sure to go tell the world about the 90-day challenge. Tell them you are missing out. That is value in here. Okay, guys. I look forward to it. And I will talk to you soon.